Porsche's SUV lineup began with the midsize Cayenne, but the compact Macan delivers a heartier helping of the brand's sporting ethos while still offering more space for people and cargo than a sports car. The Macan's snappy shifts and exciting ride earned it a place on our list of 10 best trucks and SUVs for 2023. A turbocharged four-cylinder is standard, but the S model is equipped with a significantly more powerful twin-turbo V6 engine. The high-performance GTS trim is even more powerful, but we review that one separately. Handling is crisp, and all make and models provide a joyful driving demeanor that even the most hardened SUV detractors will appreciate. This is why it's one of our favorite crossovers. Rivals such as the BMW X3 or Genesis GV70 offer more luxury equipment as standard, but the Macan stands alone as an upscale, compact SUV that satisfies its driver first and fulfills its other mission second. Porsche has added a Macan teat trim to the lineup which features an adaptive suspension system as well as the brand's popular Sport Chrono package, which includes a set of driving modes and a launch control feature. The Macan T is powered by the base Macan's 261 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine, all-wheel drive is standard as on the rest of the lineup. Given the Macan's athletic character, we'd skip the base model and go straight for the V6-powered S, which brings a meaningful bump in performance. Standard features include a 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 10-speaker audio system, and LED headlights. We'd also splurge a little for the premium package for its heated front and rear seats, adaptive headlights, and an upgraded 14-speaker audio system. The Sport Chrono Pack has our attention, too, for its driver-adjustable drive modes and launch control feature. Engine, Transmission, and Performance With the base turbo four-cylinder, the Macan bounds to 60 miles per hour in just 5.0 seconds. It feels sprightly around town but speed freaks will want to upgrade to the twin-turbo V6-powered S model. At our test track, the Macan S was only a few seconds behind the more powerful GTS with a 3.8-second 0-60 to 60 mph time. The Macan S is significantly quicker than the times posted by the Audi SQ5 and Jaguar F-Pace S. An SUV probably doesn't need to launch off the line as quickly as that, but we sure appreciate it. Quickness is important in a crossover with sporting intentions, but we wouldn't be nearly as impressed with the Macan if it weren't for its all-around competence on the road. It feels remarkably like a sports sedan. The ride is wonderfully smooth and carefully controlled, and it's rare for a jolt from the pavement to make itself known to the driver. The steering is a tad lighter than it is in Porsche sports cars, but it's still super accurate and pleasantly tactile. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG the most efficient Macan, according to the EPA, is the base model with the turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder, which is rated for 19 miles per gallon city and 25 miles per gallon highway. The Macan S, which is powered by the twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6, is rated for 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway. On our 75 miles per hour real-world highway fuel economy loop, the Macan S averaged 26 miles per gallon, bettering its highway figure by 3 miles per gallon. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The Macan's standard interior fittings are a disappointment in a crossover of this price and provenance, and it's expensive to outfit one in a manner that befits the Porsche crest. There's also less space for backseat passengers in the Macan than in most competitors. The power-adjustable seats for the driver and front passenger, while comfortable, are the only pieces of standard interior equipment that feel luxurious. You could have the whole interior draped in leather, which would partly address the issue, but Porsche living up to its price-gouging reputation requires an extra $2,230 just to cover the dashboard and doors in cowhide. A puny cargo hold and small interior cubbies make the Macan one of the least practical vehicles in this segment. But when has buying a Porsche ever been a rational choice? We fit six carry-on bags in behind the bench and 16 with the rear seats folded, which should be enough for most people. Infotainment and Connectivity Porsche's infotainment system can be had with all manner of high-tech features, but they'll cost you. USB ports and 12-volt outlets are sprinkled throughout the cabin, so everyone should be able to keep their devices fully charged. A Wi-Fi hotspot and Apple CarPlay come standard, but no Macon offers Android Auto. Stay tuned to Auto RBX for all the latest, and let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.